Hey, what's up guys? This is Ian and welcome to another one of my videos. Alright, um, as promised in my last video, I'm gonna do another video to show you guys how to pair this um, RK61 mechanical Bluetooth keyboard with uh, an iPad uh, or iPhone or Mac or Android phone for, for that matter. Okay, so basically I'm gonna pair it with my iPad um today and i'm going to show you how so basically um hang on let me just grab my ipad okay so here's my ipad i have i have it here and i'm going to first turn on the keyboard with the switch here right and there you go, the keyboard is on. And on my iPad, I'm going to go to my settings. And I already have it connected here, so I'm just going to disconnect it and forget the, the, the device. All right? And now I'm going to put the keyboard in a pairing mode. Okay? Now, how do you do that? First, you need to hold the function key and hold the P for three seconds until the P starts to flash. Do you see the P flashing? Yeah. Okay, so when the P is flashing, the device will appear on my iPad, and all I need to do is tap on it, and now it's connected. Okay, so now since it's connected, I'm going to show you guys um, how it works, the sound, the clickiness of this keyboard. Okay, so it's pretty um, functional. Okay. Okay, so basically that's how this keyboard sounds and uh, it's pretty responsive. Uh, it's in the Bluetooth mode, so there is a little bit of lag. So I would recommend if you were to use this keyboard uh, as a gaming keyboard, then um, to go uh, in the wired mode. So yeah, so this keyboard has got two modes. One is the wired mode and one is the um, Bluetooth mode. And it, in order to toggle between the two modes is to press the function key and the tab key. All right. And when you do that, the keyboard will flash twice. And that means that it's now in the uh, wired mode. And if you want to go back, if you want to toggle back to the Bluetooth mode, all you need to do is do the same thing. And it will reverse back to the Bluetooth mode. Okay, so uh, basically, I've been using this keyboard for about two to three days now. No, actually, one week. Yeah, I've been using this keyboard for about a week now, and I simply love this keyboard. Um, I've never used a 60% keyboard before. This is my first keyboard, and sorry about that, something dropped. So, this is my first time using um, a 60% keyboard. And I, I'm still trying, to be honest, I'm still trying to get used to uh, having the, um, the extra numbered pad keys on, 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 on the main keyboard itself, okay? But to be honest, I don't really use the print screen or the scroll lock or the pause or the insert on home, page up, delete, and, and you, know, you know what I mean. So basically, these keys I, I don't really use, right? But... If you want to use these keyboard uh these keys right um all you need to do is uh press the function key and the control that will toggle these keys to be activated so if, for example if you press the y it will print screen. It will not register as Y. 
Okay, so basically that's how you activate this function. And to go back, all you need to do is press function and control and you're back to normal. Your keyboard is back to normal. Okay? So, yeah, so just a short review of this keyboard um, uh, after using it for about a week. I simply love this keyboard. It's compact uh, for the fact that it's a 60% keyboard. It's mechanical. It's Bluetooth. I can connect to up to three different devices. I connect it to my Mac, my iPad, and also to my Android phone. And it works very well. And I can toggle between the three different devices. Uh, if, if, you, if you see here, there's one, two, three. So basically, when you press function, one is toggling to the first device that you paired with. And if you press function two, it will switch to the next device which you, you have paired it with. So basically it's, it's a very user-friendly keyboard um, not much to the um, uh, user manual uh, you don't really need a user, user manual basically the keys here are pretty um, you know graphical and uh, to switch the uh, to toggle between the different light display um, all, all you need to do is is to do uh, press function and um, this icon here which I, I'm not too sure how to describe this icon but yeah okay and then to increase the brightness or to decrease the brightness all you need to do is press the function key and, and that's the dimmest you can go and when you press to the maximum brightness it will start to flash to tell you that it's the maximum brightness and this is the speed if you go to this one this is the slowest you'll go and when you press to the, the so now now it's flashing when it's flashing it means that it's the fastest speed it can it can go as you can see it's flashing really fast a little bit too fast for me okay okay and and that's basically it you know, uh, there's nothing to it. Um, the build co quality of this keyboard is fantastic. The base of this keyboard is really solid. As I mentioned in my last video, I want to mention it again. It, it's really heavy. It, it's hefty, solid, feels like a bar of gold in my hands. And it, it, the, the keyboard doesn't flex. Okay, But the keys are really soft to the touch really nice to touch okay so yeah and this keyboard is really affordable uh, basically basically I got it for about 40 US dollars and that includes shipping so it's a very affordable mechanical Bluetooth keyboard uh, compared to the other big boys like N Pro 2 and you know those other brands so yeah, basically this is a sh very short review of this uh, RK61 mechanical Bluetooth keyboard, uh, which I love very much. So I hope you guys uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that uh, you get notified for any new videos which I put up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.